Saul Goodman. Yeah, it's like Saul Good, man. Like I had a lot of energy. So if you want to make more money and uh, keep the money that you make, better call Saul. Better call Saul. There we go. Have a nice life, Kim. What kind of lawyer are you going to be? Are you going to play it straight? Or are you going to be colorful? I'm going to play it straight, right down the line. I'm going to dot every I, and I'm going to cross every Oh, and sweetheart, I'm going to need one more form. Uh, DBA, because I'm not going to be practicing under the name McGill's. Shouldn't be a problem. Just down the hall, we have all the floor. Great, great. Wait, wait, Jimmy, Jimmy, what? It's all good, man. I thought you did it for the money, but now it's, it's so clear. Screw the money. You did it for fun. I am not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not on drugs. I know he swapped those numbers. I knew it was 1216. He he must have shown me one set of photos and then switched them after I left the office. Howard. There's really no need to. Now, I need to impress upon you, none of this ever happened. None of it. Understand? When you get home, we'll be gone and everything will be back the way it was. Kim, after everything that happened, I mean, Jesus, I get it. You want to climb out of your own skin. That's natural. But Kim, you don't just throw everything away. That this is your life. You're a lawyer. What, uh, what about your clients, huh? They need you. It's already done. Oh. Okay, what's done can be undone. Yeah, all I'm saying is just, just let's take a week or two to think it over. For now, we're gonna take some time off. God knows we need. We're gonna find a new place. We're gonna leave here. We're never ever gonna come back here again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put it behind us. I know you. I know what you were, what you are. People don't change. You're slipping Jimmy. And slipping Jimmy I can handle just fine, but slipping Jimmy with a law degree is like a chimp with a machine gun. The law is sacred. If you abuse that power, people get hurt. This is not a game. Because you have to know on some level, I know you know I'm right. You know I'm right! This guy, any good? Well, I knew him, he was. There's a criminal standing in my kitchen threatening me. He's a wanted man, and his name is Saul Goodman. You want me to say something? Yeah. You should turn yourself in. That's it, buddy. What else? Nothing you change. Saul Goodman? He was arrested in Nebraska. He's been extradited to New Mexico, but that's not why I'm calling. Giving testimony that affects you. I wasn't there when the meth was cooked. I wasn't there when it was sold. I didn't witness any of the murders, but I damn well knew it was happening. I was more than a willing participant. I was indispensable. I kept Walter White out of jail. I laundered his money. I lied for him. I conspired with him, and I made millions. If he hadn't walked into my office that day, Walter White would have been dead or behind bars within a month. 
and Agent Schrader and Agent Gomez and a whole lot of other people would still be alive. The fact is, Walter White couldn't have done it without me. Mr. Goodman, sit down and stay seated. The name's McGill. I'm James McGill. <laughs>